This is a video game music channel where I talk about, analyze, and discuss video game music from an emotional perspective. Today we're going to listen to Oneiro... One... Onero... One... Oh, dear God. Onerophobia, which is... The fear of dreams. That's disconcerting. Let's go. Oh my god. First of all, the way we start off, bang, right out the gate. Now we understand that Destiny music tends to do this, but the fact that we start off a bum 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 and then we go bum that showcases Nezarek's size, determination, and what's super cool is that we have that choir that you barely hear because they're mixed in just slightly under that horn. We're going super intense. Can't wait to listen to more of this. We've heard the Cabal's theme throughout all of Lightfall. You can check out my playthrough of Lightfall right here. What's crazy about this is that we've never heard it this elegant. And so I think that this has to do with a few things. We also just before this had the Witness theme also orchestrated with the strings long bowing. What's really curious to me, I haven't played this raid yet. So why do we have the Cabal theme that's so elegant? What does that have to do with Nezarek. Now I understand that the witness is working with obviously Callus and all the things that went down went down, but so what's going on here? Oh my god, that's so cool. So we just took the Guardian theme. Oh. First of all, that is incredibly epic the way that it's orchestrated with that. We take that and we orchestrated it and mixed it with the witnesses and the darkness theme. So they're completely symbiotic and they rely on each other and they're, mo they're doing a dueling duet. Oh my god, that's so good. So isn't that cool too? So then we shift into the Lightfall theme, but normally that singer is singing slightly. That actually sounds like a mezzo, or at least uh, there's the same singer, Laura, I believe, but in a lower register. And what we're doing there is we're singing in like, almost like a mezzo register, which is supposed to give us a little bit more gravitas. As we understand with video game music, lower voices always tend to be attached to nefarious things. Hearing the Lightfall title screen, we understand that Lightfall, the bit of enthusiasm and courage that occurs in the music of Lightfall emotionally. Obviously that melody, that motive is a bit ethereal. It feels like the, the cloud cover of Neo Muna, right? Hearing it in this context with this bum 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 it's a little bit more reflective. Of course that drum in there, which is very synonymous with the Lightfall theme and with Lightfall music in general. And then we switch back to Cabal. So in some ways, Onerophobia is actually a culmination of everything that's occurred in Lightfall. Oh, it's so cool. Let's keep going.
So what's really dope about this is that, did I just say dope unironically? We know we have this call and response to all the different light motives that are occurring pretty much throughout Destiny. Regardless of your stance on Lightfall as an expansion, this is the thrust into the final stand and this curving of the corner towards the end of this part of the Destiny journey. What's really incredible is that the first three-ish minutes of a five-minute song, we are taking each theme and calling back to it. That's the whole point of light motives. Light motives are constantly introducing characters when they make appearances in music. Each of these themes, the Guardian theme, the Cabal theme, the Darkness theme, the Lightfall theme, it's all tying it together. And now what's happened is we've kept elements of each of them and they're intertwining. We peel back the uh, uh, original themes and now we've sort of created this amalgamation and this combination of what feels like a new theme, well, a variation on those themes, which is a very common musical gesture, both in classical music and in music in general, where we'll take something, modify it, and then we create a variation around it. It's a very standard practice thing. That is so cool because now we have the sustaining of the Lightfall drums while we also get this Guardian theme callback. And at the same time, we're getting the witness and the darkness in there at the same time. It's incredible. Wait, that's another theme too. Bum, 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 What is that? Someone will tell me in the comments. Then we end with the horns. Ba, 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 ba. Doesn't even, I don't think it finished. And then we go into that darkness theme and then we move into ba, 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 which is that like guardian thing. That part where the darkness and the guardian theme sync up like that, that's fantastic. Especially when you look at what happened in Lifefall, and especially as we look at this combination, just all these moving parts. It's so good. This might be one of the certainly one of the best tracks in Lightfall, but probably one of the best tracks in Destiny. Oh, I don't want to say it, but that's so good. Anyway, if you like this, hey, feel free to hang out. There's tons of videos about Destiny you might enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.